Hi, this is Daryl Peterson with MicroMeasurements, and I'm the manager of the Applications Engineering Department. Today, I'd like to show you one of our newest uh, T-Rosettes. Uh, T-Rosette simply means that you uh, purchase essentially one strain gauge, but it has two sensitive grids on it, uh, one of them being 90 degrees uh, to the other. Uh, we'll get into why you might do that here in a few minutes, but I just wanted to show you uh, this new strain gauge. Uh, this one happens to have the CEA construction uh, that we've been offered uh, since the early 1980s. And CEA series gauges have been some of our most popular uh, types of strain gauges for general purpose testing. CEA series simply means that it's got these larger copper coated tabs that you can see. And there's also a film overlay over top of the grids of the gauge to help to protect them while you and I are trying to get them installed. In a package of these gauges, you'll have five of the T-Rosettes. Um, these five T-Rosettes will come with the uh, engineering data that you're accustomed to seeing. If I take the package and flip it over, we can see that we've got the typical technical information that comes with the strain gauges. We've got the resistance is 350 ohms, plus or minus 0.2%. And that's even tighter than what the tr traditional CEA, gear, uh, CEA series gauges would be. Uh, you've got the temperature coefficient of gauge factor, 1.5% per 100 degrees C. You've got gauge factors for the two separate grids with a half a percent tolerance, which is uh, typical for what we would have offered with the traditional gauges. Uh, transverse sensitivity, uh, just over 1% for the two grids. And as we work our way down, you'll see the thermal output coefficients. It's a fourth order equation. You'll see in degrees Fahrenheit and degrees Celsius. Uh, lot number, which is important for traceability. And then you'll get down here to the bottom and you'll see an item code. Now this will be a new item code for these uh, T rosettes. So if you're familiar with the 250 UTs, this is now a UTA and it will have a new item code to reflect that new construction. Uh, quantity in a package, we got five gauges and we've got another manufacturing code over here. And then you see the 2D barcode and you can shoot that with a barcode scanner and it'll import all the technical data uh, that's available on this engineering data sticker. And then last but not least, you see the part number at the bottom. It's a, a CEA-06-250UTA-350. And when you see that A at the end of the, the gauge pattern, what that means is that it's a, one of these new strain gauges using the advanced sensors technology. It's a, it's a new technique that we use for adjustment uh, of the resistance of the strain gauge. And it helps to make uh, the resistance tolerance uh, tighter and also helps to make the gauges more consistent from one to the next. Now, you might ask yourself, why would I use uh, T rosettes? And one of the reasons you might use them is, for example, if you're putting strain gauges on a member, this happens to be a tube, and maybe you need to measure strain in two directions. Imagine this were a thin wall pressure vessel and you're trying to measure the hoop direction as well as the longitudinal, well, instead of installing two separate gauges, now you can install one, and effectively you get a two for one. All you have to install is really the one gauge, but it's got the two sensitive grids already oriented so that you can measure the strain in the two directions. You also might find that you're maybe going to measure an axial load through a tube like this, and if that's the case, you may put one of these on the front side and then put a second one on the back side and wire that into a full bridge, and then you can calibrate it for that uh, axial load. Uh, that would be constructing a full Poisson bridge. And that full Poisson bridge, one of the unique characteristics about it is that you could orient the gauges and wire them such that you could measure that uh, axial tension or compression, but you could also orient them so that you could uh, measure bending in the tube as well. You get to choose how you wire it in order to dictate whether or not you measure axial uh, or you measure a bending strain. You might also use a two element uh, T rosette when you're doing material testing. If you're chasing after the Poisson ratio, that would be another good reason <clears throat> why you would use a two element uh, T rosette because again, we can manufacture these gauges with a much tighter tolerance of one being perpendicular to the other than what you and I can if we're trying to install uh, single element uniaxial gauges and trying to orient those on the part uh, to be perpendicular. 
So it helps to reduce essentially a source of error in that material uh, characterization. So again, just to summarize, this is a two element uh, T rosette, sort of you're getting two for one. You bond one strain gauge and it's got two sensitive grids on it. It's a CEA series construction. So again, you can see the large copper coated tabs uh, and you'll see the film overlay over the gauges to protect it while it's being installed. And this is intended to be a drop in replacement for the traditional 250 UT pattern. Now, if you'd like to find out more about the advanced sensors technology or these new 250 UTAs, please feel free to reach out to us. Uh, you can call us in the Applications Engineering Department by dialing 919-365-3800 and follow the prompts till you get to Applications Engineering. Or you can take a look at our website at www.micro-measurements.com. Thank you and have a good day.